Uh, right, now this is the uh, energy systems catapult. Uh, now, that, for anybody that doesn't know what the catapults are, they are a, a group of non-governmental organizations, you might call them, uh, that provide advice uh, to government about developing uh, the future of the UK. Uh, so this is the energy systems catapult, and they released a report yesterday called Innovating to Net Zero. And it's a fascinating little report because what it basically says is that the government's aims to become net zero by 2050 are not possible unless uh, the British public uh, stops flying and it, no, no more flights, got to stop flying completely, got to stop eating red meat completely, got to vastly reduce travel and so on. And they're really saying that it's unlikely that in the present situation that the British public would be willing to do that. So something is going to need to change uh, in order to make people change their minds about their, their need to use flights or their need to travel or their need to eat red meat. So, you know, I can't imagine what that would be. Well, what, what, they're, they're going to change as much as they can, Mike. This brings us back to the behavioural change unit, which boasted it could use, use applied psychology to change way, the way people behave. It's not working as they want, but they're going to give us more. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, bearing in mind, this, this organisation is feeding uh, information into government. Uh, would it be beyond the realms of possibility that government might rather cynically use uh, some kind of pandemic, perhaps, to justify uh, causing people to change their behaviours?